Hello, I'm David Liesenfeld, pastor at Rock Valley Christian Church, here with today's prayer challenge, and it comes to us from the book of Psalms 119, verse 165, where it says, Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. Or as it could be said, nothing causes them to be offended. You know, we live in a time in a society where people get very offended. We get hurt over what people say, what people think. We get offended and thrown off our courses in life because somebody was rude to us or obnoxious toward us or inconsiderate of us. And you can notice this even driving down the street when somebody gets upset with somebody else, let's say on the freeway, they all of a sudden get angry. They get upset. There's emotions involved. People get thrown off course and get offended so easily. And what the Word of God is saying is there's a great peace in those who love God's law. Why is that? Why does God's law create a peace where nothing causes them to stumble? That we don't go off in wrath or in anger or in fear or in greed or in sin. Because when we understand the heart and mind of God, it is so far above the ways of this world. It is so mature in the way that it sees the world because we're looking back and realizing I am not dependent on anyone else for what I do, but I am dependent on God Almighty in heaven. And as He loves, I love. As He is good, I will be good. Because I am imitating Him and worshiping Him in spirit and truth in my life in a way that comes out that when somebody is rude, okay. When somebody is offensive, when they're condescending to me or derogatory to me, when they cut me off or whatever, my response isn't to be in the flesh and thinking about how I was wronged. My response is, as God would have me to be, patient, long-suffering, gentle, kind, wise, and mature. That's where God wants us to be. And realize what a difference this world would be if we would walk in the ways and the maturity of God according to His law and His ways where He has love for others, where He has consideration for others. It's one of the most beautiful things about God that when he was reviled, he did not revile back. When he suffered, he did not inflict suffering back. He was God and he wants us to live and walk in his ways. And it is his law that teaches us his ways of righteousness and goodness. When we understand them in the spirit, we see the beauty of our God, the beauty of his way, a way that he never gets knocked off the track. He is always righteous and holy all the time. No matter what anybody else does, he knows exactly who he is. And God wants you to know exactly who you are, the child of God that walks in the ways of God. For this is the love of God that we would keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. That as he laid down his life for us, that we would lay down our lives for others and that we would not be knocked off course by the sins or the offensiveness of others, but that we would continue on the straight and narrow pathways of our God in heaven. So let's ask for his help to do this. We need his divine help, his divine power and attention. Let's ask him for the blessing of life that we would walk in all of his ways and that we would never be knocked off course. Let's pray.